Hi friends, welcome to my YouTube channel Learn Commerce with Namita. I am Namita. In today's video, let us solve the second example of net asset method. In my last two lectures, I have explained you the introduction of valuation of share. In second video, I have solved the first example of net asset method. So this is the second example of net asset method. So without wasting time, let's start the session. So this is the example on the screen. From the following information relating to Advani Limited, Ahmed Nagar, compute the intrinsic value of each equity share. Intrinsic value of each equity share means you have to solve or you have to calculate the valuation of share by net asset method. So this is the balance sheet as on 31st March 2019. Assets and liabilities. In assets, goodwill, land and building, plant and machinery, investment, stock in trade, trade debtors, cash in hand, underwriting commissions and values are given. In liabilities, share capital, issued and paid up capital, 20,000 equity shares of 10 each, 13,000 preference shares of 10 each, uh, reserves fund, reserve fund, trade uh, creditors, bills payable, taxation provisions are given in the liabilities. Along with the balance sheet, there are some additional informations like for the purpose of valuing the equity shares of the company, various assets were revalued as under. So the assets were revalued as under. Book debt realized 100% of book value. Second uh, is stock in trade realized at a profit of 15,000. So it is appreciated. Okay, so stock in trade is how much? 65,000 plus 15,000 is appreciated. That means 65,000 plus 15,000, 80,000 is the stock in trade. Then investment is 60,000. Goodwill 50,000, land and building 1,10,000, plant and machinery 1,40,000. So these were the assets realized, okay, I mean revalued. Now we have to calculate what net asset method. So uh, to calculate a uh, net asset method or intrinsic value of each uh, equity share, total there are three steps. First is computation of total net asset second is computation of fund available for equity share third is computation of intrinsic value of each equity share okay so now one by one we will uh, solve the uh, net asset method now first is what computation of net asset net uh, total net asset so for the computation of total net asset, the formula is total assets minus total liabilities. Okay. So now all the to assets we have to take as per the revaluate, uh, revalue uh, value. Okay. So now total asset. First asset is what? Goodwill. Goodwill in the balance sheet is given 35,000. But here in the adjustment, goodwill is revalued for how much? 50,000. So 50,000 we will take as goodwill. Goodwill amount is 50,000. Second is land and building. Land and building 95,000. And here uh, land and building is revalued for 1,10,000. So the balance sheet amount you will not take. Which amount you will take? 1,10,000. Land and building 10,000. Land and building. Buildings 1,10,000. Next is plant and machinery. 1,35,000. Even plant and machinery value asset is revalued. So the revalued amount is 1,40,000. So plant and machinery is 1,40,000. Plant and machinery value is 1,40,000. 
वन लैख फोर्टी थाउजेंड नाउ नेक्स्ट इज इन्वेस्टमेंट इन्वेस्टमेंट इज फिफ्टी फाइव थाउजेंड हियर इन्वेस्टमेंट इज सिक्सटी थाउजेंड सो सिक्सटी थाउज सिक्सटी थाउजेंड इन्वेस्टमेंट इज रिवैल्यूड सो टेक द इन्वेस्टमेंट अमाउंट एज सिक्सटी थाउजेंड बिकॉज इट इज रिवैल्यूड अमाउंट सिक्सटी आफ्टर इन्वेस्टमेंट इज स्टॉक इन ट्रेड सिक्सटी फाइव थाउजेंड इन एडजस्टमेंट इट इज सेइंग दैट स्टॉक इन ट्रेड रियलाइज एट प्रॉफिट ऑफ रुपीज फिफ्टीन थाउजेंड दैट मीन्स इट वॉज द स्टॉक इन ट्रेड वॉज एप्रिशिएटेड सो सिक्सटी प्लस फिफ्टीन स्टॉक इन ट्रेड वैल्यू विल बी एट्टी थाउजेंड स्टॉक इन ट्रेड सिक्सटी प्लस फिफ्टी थाउजेंड वी विल गेट एट्टी थाउजेंड राइट इन इनर कॉलम नेक्स्ट इज ट्रेड डेटर्स ट्रेड डेटर्स ट्रेड डेटर्स वैल्यू इज सिक्सटी थर्टी नाइन थाउजेंड सो योर नथिंग इज हंड्रेड परसेंट इट इज टू बी टेकन एज बुक वैल्यू सो ट्रेड डेटर्स डेटर्स थर्टी सिक्स थाउजेंड नेक्स्ट इज कैश इन हैंड ट्वेंटी फोर थाउजेंड अंडर राइटिंग कमीशन वी विल नॉट टेक एज टोटल एसेट बिकॉज इट इज नॉट द करंट एसेट ऑफ फिक्सड एसेट कैश इन हैंड वैल्यू इज ट्वेंटी फोर थाउजेंड सो ऑल द एसेट्स वी हैव टेकन नाउ Add all the assets: fifty thousand plus one lakh, ten thousand plus one lakh, forty thousand plus sixty thousand plus eighty thousand plus thirty six thousand and twenty four thousand. So we get the total is five lakh. Total is five lakh. Write in outer column. So the so. the total of asset is 5 lakh now from this assets we have to less the liabilities less liabilities less liabilities so liabilities will be now in liabilities we will take outside liabilities so outside liabilities are uh, trade creditors bills payable and taxation provision so trade creditors value is 45000 trade creditors trade creditors 45000 45000 after that bills payable 20000 bills payable 20000 after bills payable is taxation provision so value of taxation provision is 5000 taxation provision 5000 Now add the creditors forty five thousand plus twenty thousand plus five thousand total will be seventy thousand. So now from so total of asset is five lakh. So total of asset is five lakh and total of liability is seventy thousand. So five lakh minus seventy thousand. Five lakh minus seventy thousand will get four lakh. Thirty thousand four lakh thirty thousand. So this is a total net asset. Total net assets. Okay. So the computation of total net asset value we got four lakh thirty thousand.
सो नाउ सेकेंड स्टेप इज वॉट कम्प्यूटेशन ऑफ फंड एवेलेबल फॉर इक्विटी से सो टू कम्प्यूट और टू कैलक्युलेट द फंड एवेलेबल फॉर इक्विटी शेर द फॉर्म्यूला इज टोटल एसेट्स टोटल नेट एसेट्स लेस प्रेफरेंस शेयर कैपिटल प्रेफरेंस शेयर कैपिटल सो नाउ टोटल नेट एसेट हाउ मच वी गॉट टोटल नेट एसेट वी गॉट फोर लैख थर्टी थाउजेंड सो फोर लैख थर्टी थाउजेंड इज अ टोटल नेट एसेट नाउ लेस प्रेफरेंस शेयर कैपिटल ना हाउ मच इज प्रेफरेंस शेयर कैपिटल चेक इन द लाइबिलिटी साइड इन लाइबिलिटीज वी हैव इन लाइबिलिटीज we have equity shares that is 20000 as well as we have 13000 preference share so 13000 preference shares of 10 each so that means 13000 multiply by 10 is 130000 so 130000 is a preference share capital so less 130000 so the uh, value will be 4 lakh फोर लैख थर्टी थाउजेंड माइनस वन लैख थर्टी थाउजेंड टोटल इज थ्री लैक्स टोटल इज थ्री लैक्स सो वी गेट फंड एवेलेबल देफॉर फंड एवेलेबल फॉर इक्विटी शेयर इज फॉर इक्विटी शेयर होल्डर शेयर होल्डर इज थ्री लैख रुपीज ओके नाउ सेकेंड स्टेप इज कंप्यूटेशन ऑफ इंस्ट्रिक वैल्यू ऑफ इक्विटी शेयर सो फॉर्म्यूला इज वॉट फंड एवेलेबल फॉर इक्विटी शेयर डिवाइडेड बाय नंबर ऑफ इक्विटी शेयर सो हाउ मच वी गॉट फंड एवेलेबल फॉर इक्विटी शेयर इज थ्री लैख रुपीज सो थ्री लैक्स वी गॉट एज फंड एवेलेबल फॉर इक्विटी शेयर now number of equity share divided by number of equity share so how much is the equity share 20000 are the equity share so divided by 20000 so 3 lakh divided by 20000 rupees 15 so intrinsic value of equity share is how much 15 rupees so in this way you have to calculate intrinsic value of each equity share as well as the net asset method so the final answer is what 15 rupees so i hope you have understood so see uh, student first you have to calculate the total net asset once we get the total net asset we can compute the fund available for equity share and once we get fund available for equity share the final computation of intrinsic value of equity share we can find it easily so i hope you have understood this example thank you very much please subscribe my youtube channel like and share the video and do not forget to press the bell icon to get the latest notification